Hi, this is Anais again, and I'm showing you a page from inside the website that I'm working with. And this is a, a sample page. We're working to figure out how we want the page to be set up. So here you'll notice um, there's an audio download player. There's an opportunity to download some content. And uh, there is also an opportunity here to load up video as well as text. So I'm going to pause the video and I'm going to show you how we work with it. Here you'll see your WordPress drop-down menu. I'm in Pages. That tab is open. I've gone to All Pages and I've gone to this specific page. And now I'm going to go to Live Editor to work on the page. So I'm now in Live Editor, which is a function of the Optimize Press plugin. And here are some simple commands. So what I want to do now is edit this video because we have agreed upon um, trying a particular type of, of video that we think will work in this page. So I'm going to insert some embed code here and I have the embed code saved in my notepad. I'm going to grab this and copy it. Tuck this into here and insert it and just save it for right now and then see what it looks like. Okay. So now that's been saved. The next thing that we know we want to do in terms of the order of things is um, we will be adding images in here and I um, think that I will just show you quickly how that's done. It's very easy. Type in image. Uh, we're going to do just a plain image with no text associated with it. Select my image, no border. Then I'm going to select my file. Very simple, taking an image from my desktop and sliding it into the drag and drop area here for the media library for this website. And there's the image. Looks great. I'm going to put an alternative text in here. Um, placeholder image. Okay, and we are going to put it in as a full size image because of the nature of this website. And that's lovely. All right. And then I'm just going to uh, insert that here and see what happens. Okay, so now as you can see, this is here and I'm gonna save this and continue. So what I've discussed with the client is the next thing that we know is that we're going to do the downloads and the actual audio file is going to be last. So I am going to delete this element, take it out, and I'm going to save because I want um, the file memory to remember that I've eliminated that um, element. All right, now I'm going to also eliminate this because I need to set up a new row. All right, if you look, you'll see that this row has, it's a two, two column row, and um, that isn't what we want right now. So I am going to add a new row, one single column row, I'm going to insert it into the page, all right, now you see that I have an element that is just one column full width, and then I can delete this row. Now, you'll see the spacing on here. This has got a lot of space on the side, and that's because the client is deciding whether or not she wants a sidebar. If she does want a sidebar, we have the space. If she doesn't, I'll rearrange the page. So for now, what I'm gonna do Knowing what comes next is I'm going to add 
the next element, which is download. Spell it properly. File download. And I'm just going to randomly choose that one because on a page you would notice that. And I'm going to click on the icon image and it will be a PDF download, so I'll click on that image. I'm going to select the file. And just for a moment, I am going to sort of tighten that up and come in here and look for the file that we want. And it's sort of, this is all just placeholding stuff, so it doesn't really matter. Let's try that one. Okay, we will do this. And then we will do this. If I can get to it, I may have opened it in error, which isn't exactly what I wanted to do, but that's all right. So um, what we're going to do now is it's PDF number five. Just going to pop it over to the desktop. That'll be the easiest way to do this. Then I can get rid of that. I can drop this in, and in just a second, I'll be able to insert it into the post. Okay. And there it is. And we're going to insert it. There's the download. And it looks small, but it's okay. I mean, we could always um, change this, but for now, I'm going to just do what my client has asked me to do. And then the last thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come down to the very bottom after this text, and um, this is another opportunity was that I didn't know where she wanted to put these elements. So what we're going to do now is we're going to um, we're going to add a new row. It's going to be a single column full width. Insert it into the page, and now I can I can eliminate this. I can take this out because this is not where we want this. And yes, that, I'm sure I want to eliminate that, and we're going to eliminate that because it doesn't fit into the page structure. I'll leave this here. There's really no reason for me to delete that. It won't show in the finished page. And now I can add the audio files element here. Typing in audio. Put the audio, audio player in. Select. Um, we need a file, and again, because the audio files are not finished for this project, I'm going to just back up and go into something that I have in terms of a um, audio file that I can just pop in here, placeholder audio file, and we'll just do hello membership. All right, it's just a dummy placeholder audio, not a big deal. And um, uh, checking on that, and this is going to play, which we don't. All right, so I've inserted the audio player, and we'll figure out what file we want to download. And then this is basically just to confirm with my client, this is the way that she wants the page structure set up. And then we'll, we'll build out each page as we need to with a consistent structure for all of the pages that she's going to be having people look at. Okay, so now I'm going to um, preview this a little bit, see what this looks like. See if things are working. All right, there's our image, there's our download. I 
don't see the audio file, that's because we haven't actually given it a file to look at. But I'm not sure what's going on here with the um, video, so I'm going to go in and correct that. So I grab the embed code again, and we'll see if we can get it to um, embed and connect. And saving. Okay. And we will look and see if this is working. Yes, that's the image that I wanted to see. So now our page is set. We have our header. We have uh, the video, the, the slide images, the um, image, the download, the text. And then last but not least, we have a place being held for audio file and then um, where to contact support and we'll get that information in there. So this looks good for right now for a placeholder. We're, we're, we're getting there and I just wanted you to see how easy it is to go in and out of a WordPress site with your optimized press loaded in here and you can change your pages that you build with optimized press with Optimize Press plugin, you get the dashboard, the page builder, and the launch suite. And that's all um, available to you online. I don't need to make separate videos about that. Optimize Press has made wonderful videos about that. So this is just a way to show you how to quickly go in and work with your elements and make changes. Okay, that's it. Take care.